Welcome back. We are now going to spend some time customizing several maintenance processing functions. The first one is going to be defining notification types. That is under plant maintenance and customer service, maintenance and service processing, maintenance and service notifications, then to notification creation, and finally to notification types. And again, that is under SAP Customizing Implementation Guide. So let us go ahead and define notification type. Here we have a list of notification types that are already in the system. We are going to create a new notification type by going to New Entries. And then we can populate the fields that we have here. The first one is going to be notification type. And this is a two character ID. I'm going to call it M7. We have the description, which is test bridges IQ. Then we have the notification category. That is going to be plant maintenance, which is 01. We then have notification origin. We want to assign an origin to our notification type. In my case, it's going to be malfunction report. The next thing that we need to do is to enter the reference time. This is the proposed time by which notification is to be completed and it controls the chronological order of the notifications in the history. So we're going to make it notification receipt. Then we need to enter the, the catalog profile. And we do this if we have not done the same at the equipment or functional location level. So if we did not assign our catalog profile to equipment or functional location, then we need to do it here. So it's going to be test OCN. So once you do that, it means that every notification you create will be assigned that catalog profile. If you don't do that, then you need to assign it at the equipment or function location level. So once we do that, we need to go ahead and save. And now our data has been saved. So we can go back to, to our screen here and we can see that we have M7 test bridges IQ. So that has been created. So the next thing that we need to do is to set screen templates for the notification type. We have our notification type which is M2. We need new entries. And here we have the notification type, which is M M2, that is malfunction report. We have notification category, 01, which is plant maintenance. And then we have activity category. So in my case, I'm going to select add. Then we have the tab. And for notifications, we have 10 tab 01. We need to enter the tab header. We can call it test. Then we need to enter the icon. And I, I'm going to select just any of them here. So that is the icon associated with that tab header. So once we do that, we are ready to go ahead and save. And that is how we define the screen areas of our tabs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video where we proceed with uh, customizing maintenance processing functions.